This week our artist to know is legendary performer Charlie Pride. We've been celebrating Black History Month here on United States of Americana and we're spotlighting Charlie Pride, whom some likened to Jackie Robinson. What Jackie Robinson did to integrate baseball, Charlie Pride did for country music. And as it turns out, Charlie Pride's story involves baseball too. But first we go back to 1934. That's when Pride was born into a family of sharecroppers in Mississippi. Growing up on a farm, Pride discovered and fell in love with music by listening to the radio. Country music was the genre that Pride liked the most. Listening to songs of performers like Jimmy Rogers, who was also from Mississippi, and listening to the broadcasts of the Grand Ole Opry. I got to uh, listen to the Grand Ole Opry, you know, when I was small, and I, I got hooked on it. It just went from there. I had no idea that I was preparing myself for this, but I'm glad. Although Pride loved music and started playing guitar as a teen, it was Pride's dream to have a career as a professional baseball player, and Charlie Pride was good. His baseball career got started in the early 50s as a pitcher with the Memphis Red Sox of the Negro American League. Mr. Pride went on to play in the New York Yankees organization, and he had tryouts with a few major league clubs. But a stint in the U.S. Army, as well as an injury to his pitching arm, eventually dimmed Charlie Pride's major league hopes. But it wasn't all for naught. While playing for one of the Cincinnati Reds farm teams in Montana, Pride became known for his singing ability. In fact, the manager of the baseball team Charlie Pride played for started hiring him to sing before games to help boost attendance. Two area musicians, Red Foley and Red Sovine, encouraged Pride to keep singing, and they invited Mr. Pride to share gigs with them. Eventually, Charlie Pride cut a demo that made its way into the hands of Chet Atkins at RCA in Nashville. Pride was signed to the RCA label in 1965, and his career skyrocketed, working with producer Jack Clement. Pride went on to have a stellar career in country music. Jack Clement was my producer, and he produced about 95, 96 percent of my songs that, that I recorded. He said to me one day, he says, Charlie, these songs we're singing now, that we're recording, 50 years from now they're going to be still listening and playing them. In the early part of his career, audiences at times were taken by surprise when they learned Charlie Pride is an African-American man. But Mr. Pride took it all in stride, winning the hearts of music fans across the nation and across the world. Really, it's the songs. I do think that you can find a song to fit any mood you're in, whether you're kind of sad or happy, or sometimes you can find a sad song and make you cry, but after doing crying, you'll feel good afterwards. So that's why I've always loved country music. That's the way it made me, always made me feel, and I think that's the way I make my fans feel when they hear me sing. Charlie Pride has sold millions of records, and he's had so many hits. Some of my favorite songs by Charlie Pride are like Kiss an Angel, Good Morning, Is Anybody Going to San Antone, and Mountain of Love. In addition to all his work in music, Charlie Pride has become an advocate for mental health after being diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which he manages with medication. As you might expect, Charlie Pride has earned numerous accolades, like four Grammys, including a Lifetime Achievement Award, and an induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame. He's a member of the Grand Ole Opry, the radio show he first fell in love with as a kid. Charlie Pride even performed for then-President Barack Obama in the White House. And as Mr. Pride will tell you, he's been kissed by Willie Nelson. Despite all the success and the awards, when asked about what he thinks about his legacy, here's what Charlie Pride told a CBC talk show in 2012. My legacy, I would like for people to say that, first of all, I think they would say this, that he loved what he did, singing, I do. And I try to go on stage and do 110% every time I go on. And uh, I think I'm a pretty good fella. I think I'm a pretty nice fella. I'll feature music by Charlie Pride on my show, United States of Americana, heard Sunday mornings, 8 till 10 o'clock Central, on The Current.